And continuing our look back at the last 12 months, early optimism that 2014 could be a good year for the Korean economy faded pretty fast. The tragic Seoul ferry disaster in April and a variety of international factors meant the country couldn't break free from its slow growth trap. For a wrap-up of this year's economic highs and lows and a look forward to 2015, here's Kwon Life is hard. Something must be done about the economy. There's a limit to the money ordinary people can really use. I've been working at the market for around 14 years. This year felt like the most difficult year. There were expectations of an economic recovery at the beginning of the year. But now the country is grappling with slow growth. April Sewolu ferry disaster dragged down consumer and business confidence, resulting in lower consumption and lower investments. The Consumer Sentiment Index plunged to 105 in May. There were short signs of recovery, but the index dropped for three straight months again. I don't think anybody really expected uh, the effect from Sewolu to last this long. But I think we were very unlucky in that it was coupled by some uh, international developments, uh, for example, slowdown in China, slowdown in EU. The government has responded to those internal and external factors. Whether it's fiscal or monetary, we need an expansionary policy for the time being. Dubbed Trenomics, the government's plans included a 40 billion U.S. dollar stimulus package and deregulation measures for housing loans. For support, the Bank of Korea cut the key interest rate once in August and again in October. But historically high levels of household debt have been a hindrance to monetary policies, raising concerns of a long-drawn slump. Okay, if you ask me about three months ago, I would say no. Uh, but because the situation has gone on for so long, I would say that it is within the realm of possibility right now. But many analysts say Korea isn't likely to follow the footsteps of Japan that has suffered from decades of lost growth. There have been positive signs of late, such as low oil prices and the depreciating one. And some say if private spending increases in the first quarter of next year, the economy might even do better than the government's most recent 2015 growth projection of 3.8 percent. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.